My name is Roberto Diaz and I'm here to advocate for persons with visual disabilities as well as other handicapped as, and uh, bring about a sense of social awareness uh, to the problems that uh, we face in terms of uh, garnering sustainable employment due to uh, largely preconceived notions by employers and other entities. Uh, I'm a former Marine and I am a retired firefighter and was forced to retire due to my injury where I lost my eyesight. After a 28-year hiatus, I got into a college program uh, and Teach for America and, and I uh, got my degree and some teaching credentials and uh, I got into education. The problem was that the funding for my positions, which were largely funded by grants, um, were uh, used up and they couldn't get them uh, replenished. Uh, and it's been very difficult. I've been unemployed for the past couple of years. Ideally, I'd like to teach small groups, uh, multiple groups of uh, three to five students at a time um, between, say, third and sixth grade. Uh, math and science were preferably uh, literacy intervention in um, either a public or private setting at a school uh, whose ideas and thought processes are more proactive and more inclusive for children's potential. I think that employers should consider uh, hiring pe persons with disabilities. They are accustomed to devising strategies uh, in over overcoming adversity or uh, their particular handicap. Uh, and they're, you know, they're goal-oriented and success-driven. If I had the opportunity to speak with um, Secretary DeVos, I would say a few things. One would be that a person with a major disability can go ahead and excel and be useful to them, and that they can have value no matter what happens to them down the road. I tell my students, I always tell them, especially the kids that are yearning to play in the NBA or or uh, football or any of these things, which uh, I was an athlete all my life. And I always tell them, repeat after me, my body will fail, so my mind must prevail.